Hi, it's Katrina. From a missing relic from the Great Pyramid to an ancient whale skeleton, here are 10 amazing recent archaeological discoveries. Number 10. Giant Tail Locals from the state of Coahuila in Mexico stumbled across something quite extraordinary. While out and about in the desert state, they found giant bones sticking out. They alerted Mexico's National Institute for Anthropology and History, who sent out a team of paleontologists. They were able to unearth the 72 million year old fossilized remains of a dinosaur's tail. Found near the small town of General Cepeda in the border state of Coahuila, it's the first ever fossil of its type found in the country. According to the INAH, dinosaur tails are pretty rare, but in this case the team was able to carefully excavate 50 vertebrae. The remarkably well-preserved 16-foot-long tail belonged to a type of duck-billed dinosaur called a hadrosaur. The fossil stands to teach scientists more about the hadrosaur family and the diseases that affected dinosaurs based on their bones. Scientists have already been able to determine that the dinosaur suffered from tumors and arthritis. Mexico's northern desert states are a hotbed of dinosaur fossils, according to INAH spokesman Francisco Aguilar, who added that Mexico has a rich history of paleontology. During the Cretaceous period, the country's northern central region was along the coast, so scientists have been able to uncover both land dinosaurs and prehistoric marine reptiles. Number 9. Mystery Structure Archaeologists working along Istanbul's Asian shore and the Kadikoy district recently uncovered the ruins of a mysterious marble structure that has yet to be identified. It was found near one of the waiting platforms at the historic Haydar Pasha train station, where excavations have been ongoing since 2018 as it gets renovated. While the structure offers no obvious insight regarding its use, researchers believe it was considered sacred. It's apsidal in shape, meaning it contained a domed, semicircular recess, which was a commonly seen feature in ancient churches. The marble building is the latest of several fascinating artifacts and ruins discovered at the site, including mass graves, over 18,000 centuries old coins, a fountain, a church, and hints of a grand Byzantine palace that once stood there. The array of findings are a testament to Katakoi's long history of being inhabited by different cultures, as well as its past as a busy commercial hub. Turkish State Railways has alternate tracks leading to the station as excavations continue, leaving undiscovered artifacts safe in the meantime. Number 8. Human Cousin Skull An Australian research team from La Trobe University in Melbourne recently announced the 2018 discovery of a 2 million year old skull belonging to an early human relative in South Africa. It's believed to be the oldest example of the species, Paranthropus robustus, ever found. The skull fragments were found north of Johannesburg at the Drimolin archaeological site, where archaeologists found the remains of another distant cousin to humans, Homo erectus, in 2015. The two species lived around the same time, with P. robustus having a smaller brain, much larger teeth, and ultimately dying out before Homo erectus. Dr. Angeline Lees told the BBC that before the skull's discovery, experts had only found a single tooth here and there belonging to P. robustus. She further explained that these two vastly different species represent divergent evolutionary experiments. While we were the lineage that won out in the end, two million years ago the fossil record suggests that Paranthropus robustus was much more common than Homo erectus on the landscape. A newly published study detailing the team's findings after analyzing the skull for two years reveals that P. robustus's large teeth are an evolutionary adaptation for chewing the tough, fibrous foods that made up most of its diet, like plants and bark. The species focused most of its chewing in the back of its mouth, causing its jaw to grow and strengthen over time. But the primates had small bodies and were generally less than four feet tall. Males weighed just 119 pounds on average, while females were around 88 pounds. Number 7. A Missing Relic Abir Eladani is a curatorial assistant at the University of Aberdeen in Scotland. She is originally from Egypt and was intrigued when in late 2019 she found a cigar box with her home country's flag on it in the university's museum collections. Inside the box was a lost relic from the Great Pyramid of Giza in the form of cedar wood fragments constituting the missing third component of a trio of artifacts known as the Dixon Relics. 
They are the only known objects ever recovered from inside the Great Pyramid. The other two relics, a ball and a hook, are at the British Museum, while the newly discovered third item was missing for over 70 years before Eladani unsuspectingly stumbled upon it. Eladani, who worked at the Egyptian Museum in Cairo for a decade before coming to Aberdeen, was shocked by the discovery, stating in a press release, I'm an archaeologist and have worked on digs in Egypt, but I never imagined it would be here in northeast Scotland that I'd find something so important to the heritage of my own country. An engineer named Wayneman Dixon and his friend, James Grant, found the relics in a part of the pyramid called the Queen's Chamber in 1872. Dixon kept the ball and hook, while Grant, a graduate from the University of Aberdeen, returned to Scotland with the piece of wood. It was lost after his collections were bequeathed to the university following his death. The wood fragment's purpose is unknown, although one popular theory holds that they were part of a larger wooden measuring tool, which was spotted inside the pyramid by robotic camera in 1993. Radiocarbon dating revealed that they originated sometime between 3,341 and 3,094 BC, centuries before the Great Pyramid was built. The good news is that even though it got lost, it was kept safe and sound in the collections. Wonder what else is lost in there? Number 6. Oldest Python Fossil Scientists in Germany have just discovered the fossilized remains of the oldest python on record. The slithery serpent was found by an ancient lake at the Messel Fossil Pit near what is now Frankfurt, where it lived roughly 48 million years ago. It had 275 vertebrae and was roughly the same size as modern small pythons, growing up to 3.3 feet long. Through the discovery, researchers learned that pythons lived alongside boa constrictors during ancient times, although the two are usually found nowhere near one another today. This raises questions about how the species coexisted, since they both kill prey by squeezing them to death and they were direct ecological competitors, study co-researcher Hussam Zahar told Life Science. Zahar believes that finding more ancient specimens may lead to answers, and it would be especially helpful to find snakes with preserved stomach contents. Studying invasive boa and python populations in Florida, one of the few places where they live alongside one another today, can also help to solve the mystery. Prior to the discovery, experts were unsure where pythons originated from. Today, they live primarily throughout the southern hemisphere, but their closest living relatives, Mexico's burrowing python and the sunbeam snakes of Southeast Asia, are found in the northern hemisphere. Researchers now believe, based on the newly discovered species, Mesolopython freyi, that pythons may have evolved in Europe. Number 5. Ancient Hidden Text while working together on a project to create a light that reveals hidden writing on parchment manuscripts, three students at the Rochester Institute of Technology, or RIT, in western New York found invisible lettering in a French song and prayer book called The Book of Hours. The trio of talented scientists were part of a project that started out with 19 students. By the time they made the discovery, they were the only ones left working on the project, which by then had turned into a paid job. While looking for hidden text with a special light sounds like something from National Treasure or the Da Vinci Code, this new invention can now detect writing that was erased in the past. Pages from old manuscripts that contain different writing hidden underneath are called palimpsests. Parchment was a very expensive material in the past, so people would write on it and then remove the writing to either reuse it or resell it. Through trial and error, the students discovered the invisible text by using both a digital color camera and black and white camera with different types of colored glass, kind of like using a dark room and film photography. They also wrote a code for this system to process the digital photos and bring out the hidden text to make them readable. In this case, the invisible text is medieval French, although when it was discovered they had no idea what it said or if it was even important. This new invention could help uncover extremely valuable historical information from texts all over the world. The students continue to search for more palimpsests and are very excited, saying that it's like finding gold. They may also commercialize the system they developed, making it easier for others to search parchment for hidden writing. Pages from old manuscripts are spread all over in different collections. But now, in our modern digital era, it might be easy for the different places to gather all of this hidden information into one big database. Number 4. Oldest Rice Patties People have been eating rice for a very long time. 
The world's oldest rice paddies that have been discovered date back 6,300 years. They were recently discovered in East China's Zhejiang province in the modern-day city of Yuyao. So far, archaeologists have excavated just one acre of what they believe is a 222-acre site of ancient checkerboard patterned fields. Over a roughly 2,000-year span that started around 4,300 BC and encompassed three prehistoric periods, rice paddies had different forms. Prior to the new discovery, the oldest rice paddies ever found were around 3,000 years old. The newly discovered site is both the world's largest and oldest large-scale ancient paddy field and is connected with the early Hemudu culture. In an earlier study, a DNA analysis of 2,000-year-old rice showed that people once enjoyed many more varieties of the staple crop than the two types that are mainly grown today. Archaeologists continued to excavate at the site, hoping to make more fascinating discoveries about the history of rice. Rice might be boring, but just like salt and cod, these things have helped shape our entire human history. Number 3. Ancient Whale Skeleton Researchers in Thailand have discovered a nearly perfectly preserved ancient whale skeleton thought to be up to 5,000 years old. The remains, which were found west of Bangkok in Samut Sakhon, are believed to be a bride's whale. As of November this year, archaeologists had excavated roughly 80% of the 39-foot-long skeleton, including 19 vertebrae, 5 ribs, a shoulder blade, and fins. The skull alone is nearly 10 feet long. The skeleton was found 7.5 miles inland. In addition to teaching scientists about the species' evolution, the discovery stands to reveal information about climate change and rising sea levels, bolstering evidence of rising seas in the Gulf of Thailand between 3,000 and 6,000 years ago, and a coastline that was much further inland than it is today. Before now, experts were unsure whether fossils of small marine creatures in the area were carried inland by humans or if they ended up there as the result of a shifting coastline. But the discovery of the whale was a game-changer, according to National University of Singapore researcher Marcus Chua, because it would provide strong evidence of where the sea was during that time. Bride's whales are a protected species found in modern-day Thailand, where fishing equipment and tourism threaten their survival. Number 2. Oldest Place Name Sign An international team of researchers from the University of Bonn in Germany and the Egyptian Ministry of Antiquities has uncovered the world's oldest place name sign in Sudan, which was once part of the Kingdom of Ancient Egypt. They found a rock on Wadi al-Malik, an ancient riverbed, and deciphered its four hieroglyphs which say, Domain of the Horus King Scorpion. The sign dates back over 5,000 years to around 3070 BC. In the words of University of Bonn Egyptologist Ludwig D. Morens, this ruler called Scorpion was a prominent figure in the phase of the birth of the first territorial state in the history of the world. The exact details of Scorpion's life, death, and reign are unknown, and researchers admittedly do not know much about what life in general was like in the region at the time. Very little written information survives about the political, social, and economic conditions there, and the rock's discoverers noted that the artifact is an unusual find for its time, and the fact that it was in such a remote place. In an interview with the Daily Mail, Moran stated, I think that with our findings in Wadi El Malik, we can get a better understanding of the internal socio-economic development of Egypt a bit more than 5,000 years ago. Despite its brevity, the inscription opens a window into the world of the emergence of the Egyptian state and the culture associated with it. The rock, coupled with other early rock inscriptions and pottery discovered nearby, indeed offer unprecedented insight into the ancient world. Excavations are ongoing, so more artifacts may be found, helping scientists better understand this little-known historical period. Number 1. Ancient Arrows As the world's glaciers and ice masses melt amid rising global temperatures, previously frozen artifacts are appearing for the first time, giving experts a rare opportunity to gain a better understanding of life in certain regions throughout history. Archaeologists in Norway have found a collection of ancient artifacts dating back to over 6,000 years ago from the melting Langfon ice patch in the Jotunheimen Mountains over 200 miles north of the capital of Oslo. Included among the objects are 68 arrows that were used for hunting reindeer, which were traced back to various time periods as far back as the Stone Age and as recent as medieval times. Researchers are calling it a prehistoric arrow bonanza. Additionally, the team found reindeer antlers, 
scaring sticks from the Iron Age that were used for hunting, and a 3,300-year-old Bronze Age shoe. They published their findings in the Holocene Journal, noting that the collection includes the earliest known ice finds in Northern Europe. The study also points out that in the last 20 years, the Langfon ice patch has retreated by over 70%. The ice melt, sad as it is, provides an unprecedented archaeological opportunity for new knowledge, archaeologist and lead study author Lars Pilo said in a statement. The oldest arrows at the site, which date back to 4000 BC, are in poor condition, possibly from ice movement. Arrows from the late Neolithic period, between 2400 and 1750 BC, are the best preserved out of all that were found, with objects from the following 2000 years being in worse condition. Scientists have carefully recorded the position of each find and radiocarbon dated 102 artifacts, resulting in a very detailed archaeological record. The different conditions of the artifacts tells us a lot about the mysterious movement of the ice. Thanks for watching! Which discovery did you like the most? I like the missing artifact from Giza. Be sure to subscribe if you are new here for more videos like these. See you soon! Bye!